So I'd like to look at a second example of finding the rule for a pattern, because it can be a bit hard to get your head around. So we see we have a slightly different pattern here, little kind of square box rectangular things that are coming in. I can already tell that the example is missing something here. The third one needs to have that on there already. Sorry about that. Okay, so we start with four cubes, four little boxes, six little boxes, eight little boxes. What do you think would be in the next one? Well, it would be the third pattern repeating itself. Oops. Third pattern repeating itself. And you'll notice, really, what I end up drawing on is just these bits at the end each time. The dot, 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 those guys there. So, I see that I'm now one, two, three, four across. On the fourth pattern, I'll be one, two, three, four, five across. So that just helps us see how is the pattern growing each time, what changes every single time. So, what I want to do is actually make us a table. So again, I'm going to start with the pattern number first. So in will be first, the pattern number. The next thing would be is the number of matchsticks. I'm just going to say sticks, with the big S. Okay. So the first, second, third, and fourth pattern. How many matchsticks are needed? So again, sometimes I just hash them off to make sure I don't miscount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 matchsticks. In the second pattern, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 of them. And if you start to pay attention to this and you notice, what's the difference between the first and the second pattern? It's only those guys there. And then the difference between the third and the fourth pattern, well, it's those ones I drew on there. And the difference between the fourth and the third pattern, again, is just those ones at the end. So really that's a total of one, two, three, four, five that get added on each time. So, I'll also notice here that I'm going from 12 to 17 is plus five. So for the third pattern, if the second pattern had 17, and I add on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 new bits, from 12, from 17 plus 5 is going to get me to 22. And again, that was adding on the 5 that are at the end. So the third pattern would be repeated, or the fourth pattern is the third one, plus again the 5 that have been added on to the end. So adding 5 again onto 22 would become 20. Seven. So again in the table you can see here, each time I'm going up by fives, from 12 to 17, from 17 to 22, from 22 to 27, each time plusing by five, because that's how many new matchsticks needed to get added on each time I increase the pattern size. So that again is going to be what we call our multiplier. That's how much it goes up or down each time. We notice that it's a plus five every single time. So that's the first part of our rule that we've found. And the next thing that we want to try to figure out is whether or not we need to have a plus or minus term. So there's a couple of ways to do that. And the first thing I might just go with here is a visual one. For each of these new patterns, you'll notice that the five matchsticks on the end are the parts that have been added. So if I highlight those five matchsticks on the very first pattern, how many matchsticks are left in there? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven matchsticks. I might not leave them all circled so we can actually see what's happening there, but seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven matchsticks that are part of the first pattern, not including the bit that will get repeated every single time. So keep that in mind here. We saw that was seven original ones in there. So what we're going to do is now take a look at how we would get from a pattern number of 1, knowing that it's going to be at least the 5, how we get up to 12. So again, starting with the pattern number, I know that I'm going to have 5 
times a number, which will be the first pattern number, because it's the first pattern, and I need to see what do I have to add on to get myself up to 12, the number that I'm actually wanting in this pattern. So 5 times 1 will give us 5, and plus what will take us to 12. So 5 plus what takes us to 12, and here it is actually plus 7. So I know my plus or minus term is going to be plus 7. And again, I can see that right here. I needed to have 7 matchsticks in there, aside from the original 5 that get repeated every time. So how I can write this rule then is going to be s is equal to 5, because it's increasing by 5 every time, in, plus 7, because I needed those 7 original sticks to get to the pattern in the first place. So each time I do this, I increase by 5 every time, and I need the 7 from the very start, from the very original thing. And another way to look at it is, in terms of what we've highlighted in red, this repeated bit, or in yellow, sorry, this repeated bit, we see that just once in the first pattern, and it's there twice in the second pattern, and it's there three times in the third pattern, and again it's there four times in the fourth pattern. And that repeated bit is 5 each time, so we see 5 times 1 plus the original 7 will get us 12. 5 times 2 plus the original 7 will get us up to 17. 5 times 3 plus the original 7 will get us to 22. And 5 times 4 plus the original 7 will take us up to 27. And that's what we see happening in the rule here. The 5 in is the part that's getting repeated each time, so 5 times however many times we've re repeated it, however many patterns we've built, plus the 7 that needs to be added on at the end. So again, 5 is the multiplier, and 7 would be the plus or minus term. And that's this guy back here. So you can go on to further double check it, knowing that if you wanted to have 2, patterns. You would say 5 times 2 gets us to 10. Knowing that we need 17 sticks total, how do I go from 10 to 17? Again, I would add plus 7. So we see that it's plus 7 each time, and it's 5 times the pattern number every time as well. So that 5 is constant, and the plus 7 is constant every single time. It's just the number here in the 1 and the 2 that's changing. So let's take a look at how to actually use this rule. We'll put these two videos together. So again, recapping this one. If my rule is s is equal to 5 in plus 7, let's figure out what they're asking for. Find the number of matchsticks needed for the ninth pattern. So what's been given to me here is that they want the ninth pattern, and I have to remember that in is the pattern number. So in will be equal to 9, and I want to know how many matchsticks. I've got no clue. So I'll use my rule, s is equal to 5 in plus 7, and I'm going to plug in the value that's been given to me. Well, I know that n is equal to 9, so I'm going to plug that in for the n there. So I'll actually say 5 times 9. Remember, there's the invisible time sign between the 5 and the n. So 5 times 9 is 45, plus 7 is going to take us to 52. So 52 matchsticks will be needed to build the ninth pattern. And in the next example, find the pattern number when you've been given 37 matchsticks. So how many patterns can we build with 37 matchsticks? So here, 37 matchsticks, that's the s is equal to 37, and they want us to find the pattern number that we've got no clue about. So again, this is the case where you can use algebra or you can use a guess and check. So we'll plug in what we know. Our rule was s is equal to 5 in plus 7. 5 in plus 7. I know that s is 37, so I'm going to replace the s with a 37, substitute that in. And now I can take a guess and check. I know that I need 37, so what times 5 plus 7 will get me to 37? Well, I know that 5 times 7 is 35, but if I add 7 to that, it's going to be way too big. So what if I try one less? What if I tried n is equal to 6? So we'll try it. 
5 times 6 plus 7. So 5 times 6 is 30 plus 7 gets me 37. So I know my answer here is the, nth, the sixth pattern here. So the sixth pattern. And just to show you quickly for the algebra, if you're wanting to do it that way, 37 is equal to 5n plus 7. I need to get n all by itself. And notice there's a plus 7. So one way to undo a plus 7 would be to do the opposites to both sides. So I'm going to minus 7 from both sides of the equation because plus 7 minus 7 goes to 0. So now I'm going to be left with um, 30. 37 minus 7 gets me to 30. And I'll have 5n because plus 7 minus 7 gets to 0. And now I need to think, how do I get the n by itself even more? Here it's stuck together with the 5 with a time sign, 5 times n. So the opposite of times n would be to divide. So I can think about writing that as a fraction, dividing by 5. 5 divided by 5, those will cancel. You'll be left with just the n. And 30 divided by 5 is 6. So n is equal to 6th again here, the 6th pattern would be what we can build with 37 matchsticks.